I was not all lies. All of There's it. some lies. I found that too. Lost but. civilization in Grand Canyon was, wait, Egyptian? For centuries, the magnificent Grand Canyon has enchanted people across the globe, with archaeologists continuously unearthing rare plant species and spectacular fossils of long-forgotten animals. Among the intriguing mysteries that have surfaced in recent discoveries, there is one that terrifies scientists as it has the potential to challenge our understanding of human history. In a thought-provoking episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, Renowned podcaster Joe Rogan and his guest Hotep Jesus meticulously reveal undisclosed truths about the Grand Canyon. What exactly is this astounding revelation, and how will it impact the world? Let's delve into the details to find out. The Joe Rogan Experience, one of the most popular podcasts ever, is hosted by the renowned commentator and former television presenter Joe Rogan. Over the years, the show has become a platform for diverse discussions, spanning politics, medicine, pop culture, and current events. Joe Rogan fearlessly engages in thought-provoking dialogues with his guests, even if they involve strong debates. Therefore, it comes as no surprise that the show now brings us news of a remarkable scientific discovery emerging from the depths of the Grand Canyon. Imagine standing at the edge of a massive layer of rock staring into the depths of an ancient marvel that stretches as far as the eye can see. Spanning approximately 277 miles, 446 kilometers in length, up to 18 miles, 29 kilometers in width, and reaching depths of over a mile, 1.6 kilometers, the Grand Canyon is a true testament to the grandeur and diversity of our planet. Carved by the mighty Colorado River over a period of millions of years, the canyon offers a mesmerizing display of multicolored rock layers, deep ravines, and breathtaking vistas that never fail to leave visitors spellbound. As you stand on the rim of this magnificent chasm, your eyes are immediately drawn to the striking rock formations that tell the story of Earth's geological history. The exposed layers of sedimentary rock, each with its distinct color and texture, reveal millions of years of geological activity. From the vibrant reds of the Supai group to the pale yellows of the Coconino sandstone, the Grand Canyon is a living testament to the forces that have shaped our planet. While the Grand Canyon's geological splendor is enough to leave any visitor in awe, it is also a source of scientific discoveries that continued to unravel the mysteries of our planet's past. Over the years, researchers and explorers have delved into the depths of the canyon, unearthing a treasure trove of ancient fossils, rock formations, and geological phenomena. One of the most fascinating discoveries in recent years is the identification of a new species of dinosaur. In 2009, Paleontologists uncovered the remains of a previously unknown dinosaur species, later named Mojoceratops parafania. This horned dinosaur, believed to have roamed the region some 75 million years ago, provides valuable insights into the diverse array of creatures that once inhabited this majestic landscape. But it's not just dinosaurs that have left their mark on the Grand Canyon. The canyon's rock layers also revealed the presence of ancient marine organisms that lived in the region when it was covered by an ancient sea. Fossilized shells, coral reefs, and even the remnants of marine reptiles have all been found within the layers of rock, offering a glimpse into a time long past. Get ready for the big reveal in just a moment, as Joe Rogan and his guest expose what just emerged at the Grand Canyon that has terrified scientists. It turns out that Egyptians once roamed the lands of Ohio, and this surprising truth was unveiled in an interview with the insightful Hotep Jesus, an African-American media personality. This eye-opening discussion shattered the notion that Europeans were the sole ancient explorers, as it shed light on the adventurous nature of the ancient Egyptians. In an article written by James L. Murphy for the Ohio Historical Society, 
an intriguing artifact was brought to our attention. H.K. Landis described a remarkable find, an enchanting hollow brass hemisphere adorned with captivating Egyptian hieroglyphs. Now just very quick, if it's your first time here on my channel, I would appreciate if you would like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading Christian messages. Subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos that are uploaded every day. All right, let's keep rolling. This incredible artifact tantalizingly suggests the possibility that Egyptian explorers crossed the vast expanse of the Nile River and ventured into the uncharted territories of North America. Astonishingly, this relic has withstood the test of time, surviving centuries since the ancient Egyptians embarked on the audacious journey that led them to the heart of Ohio. Although some skeptics have questioned the authenticity of this hypothesis, it undeniably lends credence to the theory that ancient Egyptians traversed the North American continent, not as enslaved individuals, but as intrepid explorers driven by their insatiable curiosity. Imagine the encounter between these bold Egyptians and the original inhabitants of Ohio, the Erie, the Kickapoo, and the Shawnee peoples. While historical records of their meeting are regrettably absent, a profound cultural exchange likely took place between these diverse civilizations. Who knows? Perhaps even intermarriages occurred, forging an extraordinary bond between North Africans and Native Americans. The astonishing discovery of Egyptians in Ohio, as revealed on the JRE show, supports an equally astounding finding unearthed by scientists in the majestic Grand Canyon. This iconic natural wonder has long been shrouded in mystery, captivating the imaginations of archaeologists who have dedicated decades to unraveling its secrets. Armed with cutting-edge technology, these intrepid researchers tirelessly delved into the rocks and explored the cavernous depths of the Grand Canyon, yearning to stumble upon relics that would illuminate the history of its ancient inhabitants and shed light on how they came to inhabit this awe-inspiring chasm. Their perseverance finally paid off when they stumbled upon a hidden chamber that held the key to a revelation no one had anticipated. As the archaeologists cautiously illuminated the chamber's interior with their flashlights, they were transported back in time to ancient Egypt. The scene before their eyes resembled a captivating Hollywood film set. Only this was no movie. It was real life. The relics strewn across the chamber's walls and floors beckoned to be deciphered, serving as tangible links to an ancient civilization that once thrived in this unlikely location. The archaeologists' excitement knew no bounds as they marveled at these centuries-old artifacts which whispered tales of a profound connection between the Grand Canyon and ancient Egypt. It was a discovery that defied expectations and forever altered our understanding of human civilization. The presence of these Egyptian relics in such a distant and unexpected place left the researchers astonished and eager to delve deeper into the mysteries held within the canyon's ancient embrace. So prepare to have your mind blown by these astonishing revelations. The ancient Egyptians, driven by an insatiable desire for exploration, once walked the lands of Ohio, encountering the native peoples and forging connections between civilizations. Meanwhile, the Grand Canyon, a geological marvel, has unveiled artifacts that bridge the gap between ancient Egypt and this majestic natural wonder. How did ancient Egyptians make their way to the Grand Canyon? And what does President Teddy Roosevelt have to do with it? As archaeologists embarked on their excavation of the Grand Canyon, a fascinating discovery awaited them. Amidst the rugged North American landscape, they stumbled upon evidence pointing to the presence of Egyptian tribes. The juxtaposition of ancient Egypt and the Grand Canyon in North America left them pondering how these artifacts, which hinted at an ancient Egyptian connection, found their way into a mysterious cave nestled deep within the second largest canyon in the world. 
As they carefully examined the well-preserved pottery pieces, adorned with intricate patterns and symbols, the archaeologists realized that their understanding of the Grand Canyon would need to be rewritten. The origin of these pottery pieces was undeniable, as their designs were exactly like those from ancient Egypt. Filled with excitement, the archaeologists selected some pottery fragments for further study, eager to unravel the mysteries concealed within the chamber. It didn't take long for their curiosity to be rewarded. Among the chamber's walls, adorned with centuries-old hieroglyphs, lay a tapestry of symbols, astonishingly preserved over time. The site left the archaeologists with three burning questions. Who had carved these hieroglyphs? What was their purpose? And how long ago were they etched into the chamber's walls? Eager to find answers, the archaeological team meticulously explored every nook and cranny of the chamber, marveling at the relics before them. It became evident that deciphering the messages conveyed by the hieroglyphs would require the expertise of seasoned minds. Waste no time, they reached out to a team of linguists and Egyptologists who swiftly arrived at the site, ready to shed light on the historical artifacts concealed within the cave. The collaborative effort commenced as the Egyptologists began deciphering the narrative left behind by the ancient Egyptians who once called the Grand Canyon their home. From the inscriptions, an adventurous tale unfolded, bound to captivate anyone who heard it. It told of Egyptian seafarers who, driven by a passion for adventure, prosperity, and knowledge, embarked on a remarkable journey across the Nile and the vast Atlantic Ocean, ultimately reaching the shores of present-day Arizona. Having traveled thousands of miles, approximately 12,000 kilometers by sea, these intrepid seafarers arrived at a new land, which ultimately led them to the breathtaking expanse of the Grand Canyon. There, they encountered the existing inhabitants and forged a cultural exchange, bringing their own traditions and customs to the towering rocks of the canyon. The seafarers' thirst for exploration and their yearning for a fresh start transformed the Grand Canyon into a melting pot of civilizations. Long before the Grand Canyon caught the attention of Joe Rogan, it was hailed as one of the world's great natural wonders by former U.S. President Teddy Roosevelt. A passionate outdoorsman and renowned conservationist, Roosevelt first laid eyes on the Grand Canyon in 1903. Just five years later, he declared it a national monument, increasing the popularity of Arizona. Roosevelt's commitment to conservation ensured that the Grand Canyon would be cherished as a national treasure leading to the establishment of the Grand Canyon National Park. Today, it stands as the second most visited national park in the United States, with approximately 5.9 million visitors annually, second only to the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. While the Grand Canyon's breathtaking vistas have attracted millions of visitors, its hidden depths hold even more intrigue. With an estimated 1,000 caves lurking within, only a fraction, 355, have been officially recorded, leaving countless mysteries yet to be unveiled. What wonders lie concealed within these unexplored caverns? Could there be further connections between the canyon and ancient Egypt waiting to be discovered? These questions beckon explorers to venture forth, their imaginations stirred by the possibilities that lie in wait. For now, only one cave, the Cave of the Domes, is open to the public. Situated on the precipice of Horseshoe Mesa, approximately 3.5 miles below the south rim of the Grand Canyon, this cave offers tourists a safe and enthralling sightseeing experience. Adventurers can hike down into the cave, exploring its secrets before returning to the surface, all within the span of a single day. Long before Teddy Roosevelt and the influx of tourists, civilizations thrived within the very structure of the Grand Canyon. In addition to its tourist appeal and rich fossil record, the Grand Canyon is also a living laboratory for studying the forces of erosion 
and the ever-changing nature of our planet. The powerful Colorado River, with its relentless flow, continues to shape and reshape the canyon, carving out new channels and exposing hidden geological treasures. Geologists and hydrologists flock to the canyon to study the intricate interplay between water, rock, and time, furthering our understanding of Earth's dynamic processes. Beyond its scientific significance, the Grand Canyon also holds immense cultural and spiritual value. For centuries, the canyon has been a sacred place for Native American tribes, who consider it a spiritual center and a source of ancestral heritage. The canyon's walls are adorned with ancient rock art and cliff dwellings, serving as a testament to the enduring connection between humanity and the land. Why were ancient Egyptians drawn to the Grand Canyon in the first place? What remarkable civilization did they meet? The Grand Canyon area boasts a rich history, with the first known inhabitants being the ancestral Pueblo civilization, belonging to the Native American people. Archaeological findings indicate that this civilization emerged around 1200 BCE. Interestingly, scientists have found compelling evidence suggesting that the ancestral Puebloans are the ancestors of the modern Pueblo peoples. However, the ancestral Puebloans were not the sole distinct culture that once thrived in the canyon. The Cojonina people, for instance, resided west of the Grand Canyon between 500 and 1200 BCE. These Cojonina are the ancestors of the Havasupai and Hualapai people who still inhabit the area today. Further archaeological evidence suggests that the Sanagua people occupied an area southeast of the Grand Canyon, between the Little Colorado River and the Salt River. The Sanagua people thrived between 500 and 1425 CE and may be the ancestors of many Hopi clans. In the 16th century, European explorers began venturing into the Grand Canyon area. In September 1540, Captain Garcia Lopez de Cardenas arrived at the south rim of the canyon, following the orders of Spanish conquistador Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. Garcia's mission was to search for the fabled Seven Cities of Tibola with the assistance of Hopi guides and a small group of Spanish soldiers. Two soldiers, Pablo de Melgosa and Juan Galeras, descended one-third of the way into the canyon, but were compelled to return due to a lack of water. The explorers reported that some of the rocks in the canyon were larger than the Great Tower of Seville in Giralda, Spain. It is believed that the Hopi guides were familiar with routes to the canyon floor, but may have been hesitant to lead the Spanish soldiers to the river. Interestingly, it would take over 200 years for Europeans to revisit the canyon. Since then, the park has documented over 2,700 archaeological resources, representing only about 5% of the park area. The exploration of the Grand Canyon has taken an exciting turn with a recent discovery shared on the Joe Rogan Experience show. Hotep Jesus, a guest on the podcast, drew attention to the findings of the Smithsonian Institute. According to the Institute's publication in 2009, Egyptian artifacts were discovered in the canyon, marking a significant breakthrough. This discovery challenges the prevailing notion of isolated early civilizations and opens up new possibilities for exploration. The fact that ancient Egyptians and Native Americans of Arizona may have interacted during those times is astounding, considering the vast distance of 12,000 kilometers between them. The merging of ancient Egyptian culture with the Americas remains a marvel captivating the scientific community to this day. This revelation has reignited interest in exploring the canyon, drawing archaeologists to Arizona in search of artifacts that could reshape our understanding of ancient history. However, it is worth noting that the link between ancient Egypt and the Grand Canyon has been shrouded in secrecy, with limited access to historic caves and restricted airspace around the canyon. Authorities have gone to great lengths to keep this discovery under wraps for nearly a century. Despite these efforts, 
Further excavations have revealed a series of interconnected tombs buried deep within the rocks of the canyon. These tombs, adorned with intricate drawings and patterns, housed the remains of Egyptian nobles and their precious belongings, reminiscent of the pyramids of Egypt. Archaeologists and forensic experts have meticulously studied the tomb's contents, unearthing new insights into ancient Egyptian civilization. Artifacts such as amulets, jewelry, and fragments of papyrus provide a glimpse into the daily life, spiritual beliefs, and views on the afterlife of the ancient Egyptians. Through advanced technology, dedicated specialists have carefully restored and deciphered the scrolls found in the tombs, offering a fascinating window into that era. These scrolls can be likened to time machines, transporting us to a time when Egyptian seafarers overcame dangerous obstacles to embark on a new life in the canyon. Their migration led to the integration of their customs, knowledge, and way of life into the culture of the native tribes inhabiting the Grand Canyon. This discovery raises intriguing questions about the extent to which Egyptian culture influenced Native Americans and how it continues to shape our present-day society. While scientists and archaeologists strive to unravel these mysteries, much attention has been focused on Kincaid's Cave, a remarkable location within the Grand Canyon. In 1908, G.E. Kincaid, an ex-Marine turned archaeologist, discovered this underground labyrinth. Kincaid's expedition, conducted in collaboration with S.A. Jordan under the sponsorship of the Smithsonian Institute, was prompted by reports from John Wesley Powell about the canyon. The cave, estimated to be over 3,000 years old, features relics from a historic era. Stretching 500 feet in length, it is intricately designed with a network of tunnels that lead to several chambers reminiscent of the tunnel cities in ancient Egypt. Skepticism towards the government and the Smithsonian regarding relics found in the Grand Canyon is rooted in a general mistrust of institutions and a desire for transparency. Claims have circulated that ancient artifacts and archaeological evidence discovered in the Grand Canyon have been intentionally suppressed by these entities due to their potential to challenge established historical narratives. Supporters of this skepticism argue that a lack of official documentation and limited public access to the alleged discoveries raise questions about their authenticity and the motivations behind their concealment. They believe that the government and the Smithsonian may be suppressing information to maintain control over mainstream historical interpretations or to protect sensitive cultural or religious beliefs. And with the authorities restricting access to all parts of the Grand Canyon except one, it's hard to argue that they aren't hiding something from us. The Grand Canyon is indeed a place of archaeological significance with evidence of ancient cultures dating back thousands of years. As more evidence is revealed, we will be sure about the voyage of ancient Egyptians to the Grand Canyon. Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.